Hey guys, it's me. It's late, but I had, I just got done filming a video and I had some extra time and I thought it might be nice to hang out and do a live since I haven't done one in so long. I don't even know if anyone will come. Um, I've not been on here in so long and I, yeah, I just miss hanging out with you guys. I'm going to wait a minute. Hopefully some more people will join. <laughs> I, I miss doing these. And if you can't hear me, please comment and let me know. So I can check it because I'm having some technical difficulties with the the webcam. Hey guys, um, I don't know if the chat is working or not. There we go. Hey Wendy, how are you doing today? So. Um, Hey, Betty Boop, Celeste. Okay, thank goodness everything's working fine. Hey, guys, I hope everyone's having a great not so far. I know it's really, really late. Hey. Um, so what is everyone up to tonight? I, um, I've not been on here in a while, and I had a few boxes extra. Or not extra, but I've been meaning to unbox these. Yeah, unbox these and do videos for them, but I haven't had a chance to, and I figured I would just unbox them live in case anybody wants to. Letitia, she says she's not hearing anything. Um, let me see. Letitia, you might need to refresh it. I'm not sure why it's not working. Hey, Nicole. Elizabeth, have you seen what's going on with self-taught beauty? No, what's happening? And would that be on Instagram by any chance? Or do I need to look it up on YouTube? I'm looking them up now. Uh, Betty Boop. Okay, thank you. I will look it up right now because I haven't heard anything. Hey, Kari. How are you doing? Oh, sorry, I forgot to say hey to you. We have Anne with us. And Shel Shelly is from Virginia. Awesome. I'm in North Carolina. We're not too far apart. So what is up with self-taught self beauty? Um, am I looking for anything specific? I'm looking at the page and I'm seeing um, uh, she does Ipsy spoilers, Boxer Charm spoilers, American Beauty Influencer Award, or American Influencer Award Beauty Box. Betty Boops in Georgia. Yeah. I don't know. Is it like a drama thing or is it? Oh, she's having a rough time. Okay. Let me, yeah, I'm going to save her and see if I can reach out to her, maybe on Instagram, if she wants to talk. I watched a couple of her videos. Maybe she mentioned something. I'm assuming she mentioned something in one of her videos, stuff that she's going through. Angelica, she's in New Mexico. Carrie is in Maryland. Christina, we got from Michigan. All right, so um, all right, so I've got a couple of glossy box boxes, and I've got a look fantastic box, and I don't even know what month this is from. Oh, this is from September. My bad. Yeah, DZ, how are you doing? I'm finally back doing a live video, and I've got Devin here with me. So if you hear him in the background, he's playing a game. If he, you know how boys are when they're playing games. If they get loud, if he gets loud, and I don't know, screens at the screen or something, please ignore him. Or if you hear the dogs going off barking because he's screaming, please ignore that. 
Thank you, Christina. Um, I actually filmed a video where I did this eye look on camera. I was doing a, a get ready with me video while I go over the boxy charm spoilers. And this is the look that I created with it. And I started to take it off and I was like, I could go ahead and just get ready or get unready and start editing. Or I could go live and I wanted to go live and hang out. Devin DZ says, hey. Oh. <laughs> Mia said, hey, too. <laughs> All right, so look fantastic. We have got from Star Skin. This is an eye catcher, soothing eye mask. It's always good. I like eye masks. Um, but yeah, this, this eye look that I did today, I'll have it up as soon as possible. I'm gonna try to have it up first thing in the morning tomorrow. Bless your heart, Sharon. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you recover. Hope you have a speedy recovery. We went and hung out with one of our, um, uh, one of Devin's customers that we're friends with, Benita, and she's been having some issues too. She's having to, um, she's on a ventilator or not oxygen. She's got an oxygen tank, but she has to keep that on 24 seven now. Betty Boop, what foundation are you wearing? I'm wearing Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. Like we got the, you know, we got their concealer and boxy charm here recently. I have their foundation and I have been absolutely in love with it. And I've got two different shades of this. And this one's number 108 Fair. I love it. Love it. It's got like a natural finish. It's not dewy and it's not super matte. I'm so glad to hear everyone's liking Dose of Colors. I am obsessed with it. It has become my favorite foundation. And the Too Faced Born This Way was my favorite for the longest time. And the Stila Foundation, they just they just continued the Stila one, sadly. But I'm glad to find another favorite. So, oh, other thing that was in the box. They had a bubble. I guess this is like a bath soak. It's a Earl Grey bath tea. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. I'll just have to. I don't know if I'll try that. And we've got from Glow. We have a soft hair wrap. Oh, I need one of these. I got one from. Oh, I can't think. But you're in the ambulance right now, Sharon. I, I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm, I'm honored that you're hanging out with me while you're in the ambulance. <clears throat> I hope you get feeling better. That's crazy. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. These are always good. I've got one, but it's always good to have a backup. And then we have an overnight foot cream. I could definitely use that. So what has um, what has everyone been up to? I've not heard from anyone. Like I've not been on here in so long. Whoa, that's intense. Oh, if you have sinus issues, that's going to clear you right up. Goodness. I'm glad to hear it. Sharon said I make her feel better. Oh, you make me feel better. Amber just got off from work from a 14 hour shift. I always watch your videos. Thank you. You work 15 hours. You, that's, you deserve an award. I remember I, I hated it whenever I was working 10 hours. I couldn't imagine 15. Thank you, Sapphire Healer. I did a tutorial or yeah, tutorial on this look. I used the ABH palette. Norvina Volume 1. I'll have that video up as, uh, tomorrow as soon as possible. Hey, Naomi. Uh, and the last couple of items in the box. Balance Me uh, Smoothing Serum. And I guess this is for your eyes. 
I've not heard of this brand. The Look Fantastic and Glossy Box, they often include brands I've never heard of because these come from the UK. And we have a lip gloss from By Terry. I've never tried anything from By Terry, so I'm excited to give that a try. Um, not much on lockdown in Minnesota. Yeah, we've, I've not really been going anywhere. I've not been doing a whole lot this whole year. You know, I bought a planner. I didn't use it. <laughs> Everything just got canceled. So it was kind of a point pointless to have a planner this year. I bought another one hoping that I can use it next year. Christina said she's been so bored. I'm a pro hair with MUA and out of work. See? Ah. Yeah. But I, okay. Everything is so different now. And like, that's the reason why, like, I've not dyed my hair. This is all my natural color up hair or color up hair. This is my natural color up here. And the grays are natural. Um, I got my hair done at the beginning of the year. They bleached it. And then everything went to lockdown shortly after. And then during lockdown, my hairdresser got pregnant. So then she had the baby um, whenever things started coming out. And then she went on maternity leave. And I don't know when she's coming back. But I'm not going to be the one to ask her like, hey, um, can you do my hair sometime when you're going to be available? I want to wait until she actually posts somewhere that she's starting to take appointments again. So for now, I'm just going to have to. Yeah, it's just we'll call it the COVID ombre for now. Thank you, Amber. Hey, and you're in North Carolina, too. That's awesome. Uh, to me, those in the UK get the better products than we in the US for Glossy Box. Huh. Okay. I'm, I don't come across too many people who know about Glossy Box. I had no idea that they would put different products in the UK boxes versus the US. I need Ben, what are you doing? My brother's in here. Ben Wolf. He, he came in here and he said, I need that makeup on me, girl. Okay, um, my admin, DZ, do not block his comments. Um, I know he's on here. He just said hot dogs. Don't block him from the chat. That's just my brother being an idiot. <laughs> Thank you, Christina. <laughs> he's, he's goofy. Uh, it's fun getting to see him. I told him uh, he needs to come on here and do my makeup where I did his last time. Maybe he can make me pretty. I don't know. All brothers are idiots. <laughs> yeah, that's Brother Wolf. Yeah, actually, Devin wants to do my makeup too. And he wants to do a competition like Devin. Uh, he does one side of my face and Ben does the other. I don't know how we're going to do that. Uh, okay, now I also got the advent calendars from Glossy Box and look fantastic. And I, they got sent to me kind of a while ago, but where I got sick in October and then November, like November was just a bad month. We had too many things going on and I really wasn't feeling well. I still hadn't fully recovered. I'm good now, I think. I'm still, I don't know, I just can't get my energy back ever since I got sick. But um, I hope to have that up soon. Hey, Monica. Yeah, I've not been here much at all. I didn't even post a whole lot during November. I felt like I let everybody down. I just, things, I could not get things to work out. And so I'm trying to start off this month. I'm going to do a lot of lives. Going to do a lot of videos. I just want to get back on track. So the glossy box, this was their Black Friday limited edition box. And the box looks different. Like normally it's just this, but they went with something a little bit different. Yeah, I guess it's um, uh, Perky Perkins. I love that name, by the way. She says that things happen, especially with your health. You need to take care of yourself. 
that that's kind of me. I just took a break. Just wanted to make sure everything was okay. And I'm not actually seeing what's in this box, but it's really, really heavy compared to the normal box. Is this really live? Yeah, Jennifer, this is a live video. Um, there may be a little bit of a delay between what I say and when you hear it or whenever you're typing stuff and I see it. I, I don't know. If it seems a little bit like there's a lag, I'm sorry. I definitely miss seeing your video in November. I'm super stoked that you'll be doing lives this month. However, yes, I hope to do. My camera that I normally do lives on, it broke. Um, two of them, the same model. They both broke. And so my friend let me borrow his webcam. And then he ended up buying another one. And he gave me this one. So I'm just keeping this one now. <laughs> I'll eventually get the money saved up. And I can upgrade to buy another nice webcam. And I'm mad about that. Like, that was a nice webcam. But there's obviously something wrong with that particular model I was using. All right. Love you too, Ben. I hope you have fun at work. Uh, what kind of camera do I use for my videos? Like my regular videos, it's a DSLR camera. It's a Canon Rebel T6i. And this webcam, it's a Logitech cam. I don't even know which model it is. The DSLR cameras, I, I want to say they're like, you can get them now around 300 The price on those have come down quite a bit because they've got the T7i now. Oh, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. And this is the limited edition box. Collab dry shampoo. And it says it's not supposed to leave a white residue. I personally don't mind if it has a white residue, or at least as long as it's not insane. I got one sent to me from BoxyCharm that's made specifically for brunettes. Even though I'm blonde here, where I'm brunette here, I can still use it, and it doesn't... Like it kind of low key covers some of the gray hair, so I don't mind. Yeah, DSLR cameras can get expensive. You just have to shop around. This one I lucked up and I spent how much was it? Like, uh, was it three hundred? I got this camera, a lens, and I got my ring light. And that was a couple years ago. So I was, I was pretty happy with that one. It was just a girl here in town, one of Devin's customers, and she was just trying to sell stuff. And he's like, <clears throat> I know who needs that. Um, I'm not going to use it right now. I just, I washed my hair today and I used a hair mask and it's made my hair so soft. Like this part of my hair used to be so frizzy and I couldn't really do much with it. And like, it's smooth. It's been doing so good lately. Oh, thank you. I miss doing videos. I cannot wait to get, like, I even enjoy the process of editing. I cannot wait to edit that video that I did. Um, and then we got something from Seattle, London. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, might help if I turn it the right way. Oh, uh, and it's still backwards. Okay, never mind. Uh, it's mirrored, but this is a stamp and drag. It's a stamp and liner duo. Oh, I bet this is like the one from. Uh, oh, what's it called? I can't remember. Kaja, they've got a wing liner that does a stamp, and then you can do the, the eyeliner. I always wanted to get that one, and I remember when I went to Sephora last year, I wanted to buy it, and they were all sold out. Even online, they were sold out, and I couldn't get it. Oh, I can't get this out. I've never used a dry shampoo. Do you like them? I love dry shampoo. I have so many different ones that I've been trying. If you're looking for an affordable one, that's kind of easy to find pretty much at Walmart, any drugstore place. Batiste has a good one. Some of their scents are really off, but there's one that it's like candy and something. I love that one. They, they can leave the white cast 
on your hair, but it's not bad. If you just leave it in there for a minute and then kind of massage it in and then brush your hair out, or some people even use a blow dryer, it'll get rid of most of it and you won't hardly see it. Thank you for reminding me I was supposed to do my hair mask yesterday. Yeah, I've got one from Briogeo. It was the one they had last year. I don't use them that often. You're not supposed to use it every day like a conditioner. It's more of like an extra something every so often than I do. But it was the one that was in the teddy bear packaging that had honey in it. That's what's done the best for my hair. Okay, so here's the liner. I want to see what the stamp looks like. Ooh. Okay, I kind of don't want to try it right now because I just did my makeup. But I do want to see what the stamp looks like. Yeah, so use a stamp and then... Oh, I have hooded eyes. We're going to test this out in a video. I, I might still film this video by itself and actually use this on camera because I'm so curious to see how that does. I have hooded eyes and it's horrible trying to do a wing eyeliner. Oh, uh, what's good to use for under eye bags? Um... Yeah, let's look for recommendations. I, I don't have any issues with under eye bags, but I have extremely dark under eye circles. And I don't think there's much you can do about those. But under eye bags, I know there's several people, there's uh, different moisturizers that they use that they love. I do like using a face roller, though. Put it in the freezer or in your refrigerator. Put that under here. Like I like that. Uh, then from basic, we have basic beauty. We have tweezers. Not your mother's texturizing dry shampoo. I'll have to check that out. Okay, everybody needs tweezers. That's okay. It's hard to find a good pair of tweezers. Like, um, some of them don't really, like, the little tips don't line up properly, so they won't grab the fine hairs, and it drives me crazy. I have one good pair of tweezers that I got from Sally Hansen, and... You know, God help me if I lose those. I lost them once and I, I hated all the others that I had. I had to go buy another one to back to replace it because I could not use another set. Oh, I've seen people using the bobby pins. I haven't I haven't tried it yet. Then we have a color protect and hydrate deep conditioner. I guess this would you would use like a face or hair mask and it's called unwind by hosk hask i don't know how you say it but it's rose inspired okay this looks this is starting to look more like a self-care box okay and it's got two of those so that's good that you can actually call it a full size item if you get more than just one in my opinion the Hask Wine Conditioner okay thank you I, I'm looking forward to trying that oh there's still a bunch of stuff in here they've packed a lot in here and if anyone's new to the chat this is their Black Friday special Then we have a vitamin C serum from Perec. Reface me. Um, yeah, again, this is one of those brands I've never heard of before. Whew. And... Revectin Skin Essentials Activating Treatment Lotion. I've heard of Revectin, but I've never tried anything from it. This must be a K-Beauty brand. Oh, I, I cannot. I'd have to go through my watch history to find that video. There is one on YouTube that's really, really good at 
training you how to do winged eyeliner with hooded eyes, she she has one where it's just a baby wing where she goes out just a tiny little bit here and then where my crease kind of goes all the way down here she puts a little dot there and then she connects to that and then looking down she then connects here like it's she breaks it down really really well and i'll try my best to find it hey cc Uh, from Pure Less, we have the Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. I actually already got this. This is really good. I like Pure Less. Then we have something from Arizona. This must be a perfume. Smitha. Yes, that is exactly who it is. She does an amazing video on hooded eyes. Like, to do all kinds of different liner looks, even eyeshadow looks. She's really talented. Thank you, Jennifer. I cannot get this open. Yep, it's a perfume. It's a cute little bottle. Oh. Oh, that smells good. I have such a hard time finding perfumes that I like. What's in that red cup? <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's high C. Or not high C. It's like fruit punch. Is this the December glossy box? Um, no, they actually sent me that. I just got it today. This is the Black Friday special box. Then from CBD effects, a soothing bath bomb. I've never used a bath bomb before. I always hear people talk about Lush. I've never done one. You know, okay, back to the red cup. I normally have a red cup here with me. And I'm always like, if I have to take a drink or something, I always edit out the video. Because I'm like, they're going to think I'm drunk on camera or something. That's just what we happen to have here. And I've also got one of my subscribers. She made me uh, a tumbler, a custom one. I use that a lot too. Then from Dr. Babur, Babur, however you say it, a 3D hydrogel lip pad. Oh, I don't like these. The lip masks, I'm not a big fan of those. I don't really pass those along to my mom because she loves them. They're peroxide based for the fizz. It dries my skin. Oh, see, I, I thought they were supposed to be moisturizing. I didn't. I wouldn't have thought the bath bombs would actually dry out your skin more. And introducing sets. This is a blot and translucent powder single dose cosmetic compact. Oh, are these those papers? Like papers of makeup. Uh, I don't know. I think these are good if you like have something important you have to go to and you want to make sure you, you're touched up, no oiliness while you're out. But I have no issue personally keeping a compact with me and just touching up if I'm out. That's what you do? You like to stay pretty and fresh that way? He's so cute. They're pretty in the tub. Okay, and see another thing too with bath bombs. Because they make all the ones that have like all these little loose bits in it. I, I can't help but wonder like wouldn't that like mess up your bathtub or mess up your plumbing? I, I don't know. And I've seen people do the glitter bath bombs. And I'm like I'll have glitter on me for weeks. Like I, I'm afraid once the glitter is there and you're submerging yourself in it. You're going to have permanent glitter from there on out. So that's actually a pretty good box. I like everything except for the lip mask. But I'll try those little sheet uh, powder sheets, whatever you want to call it. And that was a lot of product. I'm not even sure how much this box is. They didn't send me a thing telling me how much any of it was. Like, they break it down individually what they are, but they didn't tell me how much the actual box is. So I'll have to look it up.
glitter forever. Yeah, see? Like, I've even gotten loose glitter to do eyeshadow looks, and I tried it once, and then I swear, I had glitter everywhere. Because whenever you're messing with it, I don't know why, like, even with glitter glue, I would get glitter down on my desk, and then my arm would touch it, my shirt would touch it, and it would transfer somewhere else. And then next thing you know, you've got little specks of glitter everywhere on everything, on my dogs. <laughs> uh, the one that I use like for my eyes is Urban Decay, but it's like a liquid liner that has glitter in it, but it doesn't fall out anywhere. That I can handle. I don't know how they put this stuff in that box. I'll never get it back in there the way they had it. It's $25 or $30. For $25... Like, compared to, like, Box of Charms, $25, and you get five items. This is a good deal. A lot of personal care items. And only a little bit of makeup. I, not everyone's going to like that. But it, it's limited edition. It's not something you would get every month. I think for a special little pick-me-up, I think that would be cool. And I'll have to give this away. I won't use it. <laughs> I'll have to find somebody who wants a bath bomb. Like my mom, she doesn't even, she has a garden tub and she's probably going to kick me for saying this, but she doesn't even use it. Do you know who uses it? Her house plants. She has like a jungle in her bathroom and a lot of the house plants are in there. And it's like crown of thorns, like dangerous plants, stuff you don't want to use all or move around a whole lot. Uh, Bethany, that was the Black Friday Glossy Box special. But I do have another one. And I don't know which one this one is. This may be November. Where I got sick, it kind of threw off everything. I feel so bad that they sent me stuff and then I never got around to actually posting about it. So this is kind of me catching up on everything in one video. And playing with it in person or live with you guys not in person yeah this is the november box and it has makeup in it yay i always like the way they present them uh first up eyeshadow brushes I love me some eyeshadow brushes. Hey, pretty psyched beauty. I thought it was multiple. It's just one. Um, this is from Spectrum. The It's a blending brush. Huh. Okay, I like that. It's actually black bristles, so you don't have to worry about it getting stained. Especially because, like, this color here, the really, really deep purple, that one's bad to stain my brushes. That and pink. It feels really, really nice. I have never heard of them before. It's a limited edition brush. And the price on it is $8.99. That's pretty good. I don't know if I like this box. What do you think, Elizabeth? Are you talking about the Black Friday one or the regular box or glossy box? They're, not a lot of people know about them in the U.S. I'm still... I think for me, it's because I don't recognize a lot of the brands. It's a little bit harder for me to to talk much about them. Like, I don't really have much to say. I don't have any experience with a lot of the brands. But, like, they do have stuff I recognize. Like, Wonder Beauty, the eye masks, I like these. Wonder Beauty, I know of. But Hero Cosmetics, I don't know. I don't know what that is either. But these are the Mighty Patch. And, oh, it's a blemish patch. Yeah, I can always use those. I'm, I'm good with that. But we have a eyeshadow palette, and it's from L.A. Splash. I've never tried L.A. Splash. I like the packaging, though. It's cute. Now, that's a fall palette. That's pretty. Okay, so Bethany says, compared to Boxer Charm and Ipsy, um, Boxer Charm is still my favorite. Ipsy, I like them. I don't like the, the mini bag, just because I don't want a bunch of samples. 
and that's all it is. Um, but for the price, I mean, it's $12. It's not horrible, but I would much rather get full size products. I was doing Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and Ultimate, but I quit both of those because I kept getting repeats. That was over a year ago, pre COVID. So I don't know if they fixed it since then, but I've so far not signed back up for Ipsy. I might need to just because I want to give them a trial. They've, I've heard they've improved things since I was with them. The hair care in the box was also the pimple patches. They removed my pimples overnight. What? Yeah, I'm about the plus and ultimate and stopped too because of repeats. Um, Perky Perkins says this is the last month for Ipsy. Like, I, I want to try them, especially because they're teaming up with BoxyCharm now. I, I kind of, I hope BoxyCharm can help them with their brands. I'm sorry, my nose is running. I have to keep dabbing it. My allergies, sinuses, all that good stuff. Yeah, Ipsy Ultimate was stupid. <laughs> I wish I had never, ever, ever signed up for Ultimate. I hated it. Like, I even was paying for the boxes, but then I would see what was in it, and I wasn't excited about it, and I never filmed the video. Thank you. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so this palette... This is a very, very fall palette. But I like how it's kind of celestial looking. I'm a sucker for packaging. But I've never tried anything from LA Splash. Yeah, for 50 bucks it was terrible. Yeah, $50 and then half of it was samples. And then they would send me, like they would call a full-size item one face mask. And I'm sorry, that's some bull. That is some BS. Ah. I like to slap somebody giving me a face mask and calling it a full size item. Uh, we got eyeliner from Doucet. Those are always good. And the last item. Now, see, I don't like this. I don't like getting blister packs of a little cream. This is a blemish balm, which you need a really, really, really small amount of it. But I would rather them go ahead and give us a full size. The majority of the stuff that they give in this is normally full size. I think they do like deluxe. The regular box is cheaper than the Black Friday box. But like this, the blemish patches, there are six in here. I could probably use it all at once, the way my skin is, but at least there are six of them. That palette, yeah, it's cute. Um, yeah, so, oh, does anybody use Influencer? Like, if you're ever wanting to know, like, how to get free stuff, there's a couple of programs I use, and one of them is Influencer. They sent me a box. It kind of exploded when I opened it. <laughs> but this is their Fall Essentials box. And they sent me a new toner to try out, Humphreys. This one has witch hazel, and it's an alcohol-free toner, but it has grapefruit in it. And I think grapefruit will actually irritate your skin, so I don't know. Uh, Bethany, yeah, it's free. Uh, if you go to Influencer.com, you can sign up for an account there, and you just review stuff on there. And they'll you want to connect all your socials, like your Facebook, your Twitter, Instagram. I used to be able to connect my YouTube, but they took that away. Something happened between... Google and then they won't let you do it now. And uh, yeah, they'll just randomly select people. The more people you have on your socials, the higher you you will rank. I went from getting like one box a year <clears throat> to like, this is my fifth or sixth box this year. And they've sent me things like, um, hold on. Oh, anyways, let me show you this really quick. They sent me the toner to try out. A candy bar <laughs> like it's so random the stuff they have on there in Advil which that's just a little sample but they'll send you oh well, there's two of them but they've sent me a powder foundation from Shiseido 
I got the the whole drunk elephant hair care line. I got sent that to review. And sometimes they'll ask you to do like posts on Instagram and stuff. But a lot of times they just want you to mention it. Like go to their website and review like on Sephora.com. Or also review it on Influencer.com. That doesn't cost anything to sign up for it. I actually meant to talk about it in a video, like dedicate a whole video on how to get free products through different programs. I'm still planning on doing that. I just haven't had a chance to actually sit down and do it. Although now might be a good time. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. When I say follower based, like there's still people who I know who don't have the, like 30 followers, like their score that they get on or not, wasn't like 30. It was a really, really low number. They got sent like a Keurig to review. Like they send such random things. They, um, you can review drinks, like sodas, wine. You can review candy, food, where you go grocery shopping. You can review Walmart on there. There's so many things that you can review, but I focus mostly on makeup. And I've gotten several, I really can't remember everything that I've been sent. Some people get sent the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes. And I'm super jealous of that. I really, really wanted those. Oh, see? Uh, DZ, that's what I was talking about. Uh, let me see if I can find out what all I have actually reviewed. But yeah, they've got their own app. They've got their own app here and they have a lot of things that are even just digital where if you if it's something that you already buy in the store, you can load your receipt onto here and then they'll give you a refund for it. Like, I'm trying to think of what my favorite was. Oh, Paracone MD. They sent me their new CBD eye cream to review. I got some dog treats for my puppies to review and Aqua's hair. They've sent me some things like it's, it's totally all over the place what you can get from it. DZ has close to 4k. Yeah. Let's see. I've got like my score is 5,073. That's not even big compared to a lot of people, but I've seen, because you can kind of go through and see what everyone is reviewing, what they get through box boxes, which is what they call the free stuff that, that they send. You can see what their score is. And there's tons of people who are, that have smaller numbers that are still getting like these huge products for free. I would still sign up for it. And if you want to sign up for and follow me let me know I've got some people that started following me and I think I'm gonna start doing like a follow for follow because there's a lot of people who boost their numbers that way through the app itself <laughs> what are we signing up for um, influencer instead of influencer it's influencer um, Pat McGrath Labs, I have only one eyeshadow palette from her, and I've actually never touched it. I, and it's crazy, okay? Like, I did my first sponsorship video on YouTube, and I congratulated myself by buying myself the Divine Rose collection. And then I get it in the mail, and I'm, I don't know, it's like I'm almost afraid to mess with it. Because it was $125. I, I know it's crazy. Like, I don't know. I still have it somewhere. It, I, like it's still in the box. I've never taken it out of the box. How hard is it to unbox like boxy and how hard was it to get the followers? It's different for everyone. I wish I could say there was a certain thing you have to do to get followers. It's just, I don't want to say random. You have to network with people. Um, hey, um, is anyone interested in me unboxing BoxyCharm? Like, what I got last month? 
I, I still haven't unboxed all of those. I only did one video for the base box. And I completely forgot about the other boxes. Because I didn't post that much last month. Like, I've got two premium boxes in my other uh, base box. I got a mess over here. I've got to clean up my area. <laughs> but, um, now if you are interested in being like a, like an influencer, if you want to start reviewing things for YouTube or Instagram, there's another program you can use, Octoly. And the brands actually choose people. You can apply to review things and then the brands will decide who they like or who they don't and they'll send things to you. Like they sent me these. I've, I've gotten stuff from them like four or five times. Um, and sometimes if they like you enough, they'll go and just add you to their PR list. And whenever they come out with new things, they'll just go and send it to you. Um, but I have the only requirement about this is where like the other, you don't have to necessarily post on Instagram or anything. This they will make you post. You have to post it on YouTube or you have to post it on Instagram, whatever the qualifications are. Um, but like, okay, while I'm, while I'm talking about this, let me go ahead and give you a little mini review on this. The Skin Squad, this is the pre and probiotic. This is good if you've got acne. Like we were talking about those acne patches earlier, um, to get rid of your pimples. This is really good. Um... I haven't had a chance to fully try this a really, really long time. It's helping so far, but I would still need a couple of bottles before I can say 100% definitely get this. And I want to get it so that my boyfriend can try it too. Um, Apex Drop. I've never tried that one. But Octoly, I love it to pieces. They, they're they really, really straightforward. They don't tell you what you have to say. They don't tell you... Um, they'll tell you have a certain deadline to do it, but all thing you have to do is just say that this is linked down. You know, I can't get my thoughts straight. You just have to make sure that you tell people that the link to this product is in the description box and make sure you link it. Like that's it. If you didn't like the product, just be honest. If you liked it, tell them. So like me saying that I can't really, if, you know, if acne is something you like, you can do that. These, I don't have an opinion on yet. This, I would definitely have to try more before I can. But that's it. Like, you can just say that and you're good. Love that program. And they get a bunch of makeup on there, too. Like, I got YSL Beauty from there. Oh, what, what was... I already missed it. The Apex Drop. I'm going to write that down because I want to remember. Which foundation are you talking about? Like I got the. Which one is it? I can't remember. They sent me the All Hours Foundation. I like that one. I didn't choose the right shade, though. This one's really, really dark for me, so I have to mix it with other products. But yeah, you can get all kinds of stuff on there. I'm sorry, this turned from a glossy box unboxing to how to get free stuff, which I think everyone can appreciate. And then there's also Pinch Me. They, you can sign up to like go on there for Sample Tuesday, and you can get free stuff that way. Like, I even have that box. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it so you guys can see that, too. I'm going to go grab it. Give me just one second. I'm going to grab my Pinch Me box. Okay. Pinch Me is another program that you can use to get free stuff. 
but most of it, the majority of it is sample stuff, but occasionally you'll get full sauce things. But they have, um, they call it Sample Tuesday, and you go on there and you just have to kind of go grab things because what they have is very limited. Now, I think this one's actually an influencer box, so I don't think it's like you would get this much in one box. Most time you have to get a minimum of three items before they'll ship it to you. Um, just a little sample of root touch up. Everyone needs that, right? Lumify eye drops, which these I keep all the time. Um, Yardley London bath bar. And it's a charcoal bar. I wonder if you could use that on your face. Pinch me, you have to be an influencer. No, you don't have to be an influencer. You just, whenever, just go on there. And they'll even have coupons just to get the item for free. Like, instead of sending you a bag of dog food, they'll just give you a coupon and you can go in the store and redeem it. Um, Love Bug Probiotics. I guess these are gummies. All right, it's totally random, the stuff that they sent out. But they work with um, Procter & Gamble and a few other companies. They make just random things. <laughs> um, it's an app. I've never used PinchMe's app. I think they have one. I'll just go to PinchMe.com. Uh, blister care, a little sample of that. Um, got some things from Eva NYC. It's a hair care brand. Little things here you can try out. Um, we have a face oil from V Butte Pure. Never heard of this brand. Oh, thank you, Eris. Oh, Apex Drop has an app. Okay, cool. I'll definitely check that out. I'm going to get this open one way or another. I'm so glad y'all are hanging out, and I'm sorry it's so late. I just really, really, I just had the, the urge. I wanted to hang out live. Okay, so we have a face oil. I don't know. Packaging's interesting. It looks kind of, I don't know, it looks heavy duty like it's going to hurt you. It's only 7.30 for me. Yeah, okay, I forget. I'm on the East Coast. I'm 39 and just started YouTube this year. Don't ever think that you're, like, too old to do stuff like that. It's crazy. YouTube, like, even TikTok. I love, like, there's actual adults on there that you can relate to. There's, there's something out there for everyone. And then I got some cookies. <laughs> like this box is so random, but it's just, that's kind of like to give you an idea of what you can get from it. They do have some skincare. They do have makeup occasionally, but most time it's like um, health products. Most often I got hair care, or like hair color. I got so many coupons whenever, before I was trying to do like an influencer but, you know, before they reached out to me, I was just a regular consumer. They gave me so many coupons for free hair dye. Which I wasn't complaining about. I used the crap out of those. Oh, yeah. I went over um, to visit somebody the other day. She does a lot of TikToks. And I was trying to get her to show me how to use them. I have to. I have a TikTok account, but I've never posted on it. Mostly because I'm intimidated. I'm afraid to post on there. I'll get over it one day and actually do it. I found um, a couple of ideas that I've seen other people do, and I kind of want to recreate it myself. 
Okay. I was telling you about the Pat McGrath palette that I've never used. It's still in the box. Like, yeah, that's a little things that they put in there. I have never used this palette. But they, they package everything like this. It's crazy. But I bought it whenever it was a pre-order. They came out. This is the Divine Rose one. Like, right after I purchased it, they came out with the number two. And I really wish I had waited and gotten that one instead. But I love the packaging on this. It's so pretty. Just a little tells you what the shade names are. But I didn't know this. Like all the palettes are just this. I thought the pretty part was actually the palette. I felt like a dummy whenever I bought it. Yeah, I want number two, but this is number one. Okay. But yeah, she's expensive. But this thing is the heaviest palette. And like, it's got like beveled mirror in it. Like they did not spare any expense with it. But it's, I can't do justice for this. It's so pretty. Yeah, I can't. I cannot show how pretty this is, especially the this color here and this one, the way the light reflects on it. It's so pretty. Hey, Jill from Michigan. I'm afraid of TikTok. I get annoyed with IG Reels. I don't know why. Facebook and IG... Like Instagram, and then the Instagram added the shop tab. I'm not going to Instagram to spend money. I will go to Instagram to look up brands, and then if I want to buy something, I will go to their page and actually buy from the website. I'm not purchasing something from Instagram. I'm not sure which number this is. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Yeah, so eventually I will use it. Um, I think I'm keeping it in the box because I'm so afraid of it getting broken or something. I'm just kind of keeping it safe. <laughs> the way they packaged it, it managed to survive the postal system, so it must be pretty good. I'll eventually get over it and actually use it. I'll do a whole video on it. Uh, it's the Devon Rose 2, or 1, sorry. Devon Rose 1. Okay, boxy charm. Okay, so I did my PR unboxing. This is actually my paid box. So, in both my PR box and my paid box, I got the Natasha Denona palette. And they actually sent me this separately as PR. So I have two extra ones. And everybody I know got one. So um, I don't know if I should do a giveaway with it. I don't know. Like I had a giveaway on my YouTube channel for the Queen palette. Because I got sent duplicates from BoxyCharm. And so that, that was a giveaway. I did it on Instagram. And then I drew a winner. She was like, um, I already have that. I'm like, oh, okay, I, I totally understand. You ended up getting it in your box. Do you want to give it to a friend? You know, I'll still give it to you. Even if you don't want it, I will pay to ship it to you just so you can give it away. I was I was totally okay with that. And then she came back with, well, can you give me something else in place of it? And she asked for the hip dot palette. Unfortunately, I didn't have it, but then it kind of, I don't know, it made me feel weird, made me rethink the whole, like, giving away a palette that everyone was supposed to get. Like, I don't want to get in that situation again, you know? I ended up having to draw, like, two other names before I found somebody who wanted it. And I felt so bad because that was such a beautiful palette. But I got another one of the Peach and Lily uh, Hydrating Gel Cleanser. Like, everything was the same in my PR box from my paid box, except for one item. I got another one of these. Um, DZ says, yeah, that would have put me off too. Yeah, I, 
Like, I understood what she meant, but it's not like, even though I'm getting PR from Box Return, they don't send us everything. And I didn't get it in any of my PR boxes or my paid boxes. I got another one of the Kush mascaras, but the item different was the Jessica Black liquid corrector. I'm actually going to use this. It's an under eye color corrector and I need all the help there I can get. Yeah, see, she entered the giveaway and it was for that palette specifically. If you didn't want it, why enter? That was, I felt so weird <laughs> after that. Yeah, so this, I'm really excited for this. I've only played with it, like, t did a little swatch on my hand. It's actually pretty pigmented. And it's from uh, Jessica Black. Sorry, I didn't say that. Yeah, that's super rude. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, a little, little bit. Like, it was just a weird situation, and I don't want to be in that situation again. I don't understand people sometimes, like, it's a giveaway, be thankful. See, and I, I understood that, and I told her, I was like, hey, you know, maybe your mom didn't get it, maybe your sister, a friend didn't get it, maybe you just want to save it and give, them, give it to them as a gift, something. And she was just like, no, <laughs> I want this other palette that I'm pretty sure you have. I ended up getting it anyways because my mom gave it to me, but I didn't get it sent to me from BoxyCharm in any way, shape, or fashion. Okay, and I got two premium boxes. One's PR, one's I paid for. Uh, pretty socked beauty. Don't look like a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> what? Um, okay, so now I'm probably, I want to do, I've seen a girl on YouTube. She has like a no waste Wednesday. And she goes through, because she's getting duplicates of things, like, like I am now, she goes through every month and has a giveaway. Or every week has a giveaway. And it's things that she got extra that she knows she's not going to use. Like, because I got two boxes, I've got two of these cosmetic brushes. I've got two of these palettes. I'll keep one, but everyone else I know gets this box too. And, like, I'm not going to, I don't need two of them. Um... Real Her Lip Liner Duo. I think this was my paid box. The Grown Alchemist Detox Night Cream. What else did I get? The, is it Isla? I-L-I-I, I-L-I-A. I -L -I -A. It's the Color Block High Impact Lipstick. I actually have that on, so I got it in my other box. And they're both the same shade. And, okay, because I'm getting so many things that are the same, it also makes me question, like, variations from BoxyCharm. Like, I don't know how they do that. Since I started getting PR from them, I'm just getting duplicates most of the time. Uh, let's see. Perky Perkins, she says, I had a giveaway on my video, and some watched the video said, I don't want to enter as I got the items. They should do that. Um, premium only had four variations. Oh, well, there you go. That explains it. <laughs> well, well, this was number five. So they just, I don't know. Little dose of colors, color block, single eyeshadows. I've got a couple of these and they're nice. But I have to double check because I may actually already have this one. And I got two of the same shade of this too. I go to nursing homes and do makeup not. Um, I use stuff. Like there's some things for the company will send it to me to do a review. And I use it once and it's not for me. My mom or my friends. Like I normally keep a box of stuff that I've actually already used. And I'll like ever so often will just go through it. I didn't get to do many of those this year because, you know, COVID. But normally we would just have a the box of stuff and we would kind of take it from house to house and just let people go through and pick what they want. But the new stuff, I've got a box of different things kind of saved up because I want to do, I want to do something. I think I want to do like that girl does like a no waste, but I'm just so that I get people that aren't doing, you know, I don't want to be in that same situation. Maybe I'll mix in some stuff. That's a little bit older. Maybe they didn't get, 
and then some of the new stuff. Maybe so that part of it is something they possibly don't have. Hey, Trish. I got the color slinky. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, this one, this one's a paid box. I've actually not touched anything in this, but my PR box, I messed with it. So I'll mess with the eyeshadow palette in that. Yeah, my PR box, and this was variation five. Yeah, so that's why everything was the exact same. The colors were the same. Yeah, everything was the same. But now, I do like these brushes. This one right here from Cosmetics that has like the little bumps on it. Use that for your masks. I really like that idea. And the Illamasqua eyeshadow palette. I haven't had a chance to play with this yet. But, okay. This is just, just like a little mini review. Who else thinks, like, the curves that they put on this? It's like they were trying to make it sexy. Like, she's curvy. I don't know. This looks like a sexy palette, in my opinion. <laughs> and the palette... This camera isn't doing it justice, okay? This camera makes me look green and washed out at the same time. So these colors just aren't looking as good on camera as they do in person. But I, I've heard people really, really like this. I need to just sit down and play with it. I'm going to do more makeup videos. Uh, I would like to post every day if I could. I really, I love playing with makeup and I just don't, I don't know. Last month, I really just didn't put on makeup much. I just really wasn't feeling it. I'm still not back 100%, but I think I think playing with makeup makes me feel better. All their packaging is curvy, definitely sexy vibes. Okay, yay! I'm not the only one that thinks that. I, I can imagine people listening to me and she's like, what the hell is she talking about? A sexy palette? Like, yes, it is sexy, okay? Do it for Vlogmas? Oh, I've seen people doing Vlogmas. I... I need to do that. How was Boxy Charm Premium looking for January? Oh, oh. I just filmed a video where I was doing this eye look and I'm talking about January. January is looking really good. And I had a meeting with uh, Joe today. The, there's like a group of 50 of us that are actually just Boxy Charm people. And they invited me to their, their little group. And now I get to actually go to their Zoom meetings. And he showed us, like they'll show you things that are coming up different um variations like you can get one of three items here the next thing will be one of three items like it's really cool in those meetings but they part of it is you can't share what what's being talked about <sighs> I, I wish i could share everything like they've got some things coming up that are pretty awesome um and there are some things going on with lux there's going to be some program changes to that too it's good though. It's really, really good. So, <sighs> lately I've been looking at unboxing um, videos for Boxy Charm and I've not been impressed. I think the biggest thing that people have been talking about with Boxy Charm is that they're getting premium, but the base box was looking better. That's going to change too. Like, there's, there's some programs coming up and they're not that base box is going to get bad, but the spoilers that I've seen for the premium box are good. There's some good, good, good things coming to premium. Yeah, I put in the the title of this was going to be a glossy box things, which technically it was. We already did that, but now we're talking about other boxes. That's okay, Jennifer. I can't talk, so. I keep having to stop and start myself over. You guys should see me whenever I'm filming and I have to go back and edit the video. I'm having to hear myself make these mistakes over and over and cutting them out. Like I should do like a, what is it? Like a gag reel of me trying to talk in these videos. Ooh. Oh gosh. I really, really wish I could. Like, we even get to take screenshots. And one thing that he did show us, everyone in premium in 
I think it's January, if not December. I think it's January. Everyone's going to get that Ofra Cosmetics, that face palette. I have a picture of it. This one I can actually show. But they, um, he got to show us a really, really good look at it. And it looks so much better than what I was expecting. But everyone in premium is going to get that. Well, I know I have it. I just can't find it. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, this palette right here. He showed us what that looks like. And it's so pretty. But it's going to be something exclusive to BoxyCharm. It's not something you can actually go out and buy somewhere. But yeah, they've got a bunch of these different face palettes. Ofra does. But they're just different versions. And basically, they picked out custom, like a custom arrangement of colors just for us. Yeah, I can't wait. I cannot wait to get that. I've tried several of their eyeshadow palettes, and they're really, really good. Most people know them for like their highlighters, but their bronzers are really good. The eyeshadows, eyeshadows are surprisingly good. Um, not the current face palette. Which one are you talking about? Hey, Jennifer. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything else to unbox for you guys. Because I kind of want to show. I don't know. Just want to unbox. Um, I'm sure I do somewhere. I get, I get random stuff. So, oh, that's right. I do have something. Okay. So y'all are getting a little preview. I haven't posted about this yet. But uh, my first big brand sent me PR, like the actual makeup company, um, Winky Lux. They sent me PR. Like, Winky Lux contacted me, and I'm so excited. I love their kitten palette. And they sent me, and they're like, hey, we come across your channel. Do you want to try some new blushes? Guys, this, this has to be the most beautiful blush I've ever seen. I'm not even kidding. This is a blush. Like, you guys are getting an exclusive preview whenever I actually do the review. But they sent me all of the shades in the range. Look at that. so pretty but yeah it's a cream blush they sent me all of the colors in the range and it's so stinking pretty you remember Lancome whenever they had their rose highlighter I heard some people talking about it and they're like oh my gosh I gotta go get this because it's a rose that's a highlighter and um, then it ended up just being like a faux like a fake silk flower with highlighter powder spread across it like the rose is the actual cream blush. I cannot wait to play with these. Uh, Jessica, what did you use for the eye look? I used the, the ABH Norvina Volume 1 palette. I'll have the tutorial for it up tomorrow. But I can show you the palette. Yeah, this is what I used to do this eye look. It's a big old palette. But yeah, they sent me all the blushes and they just released. Or I don't know if they have released yet. I can't remember. And then they sent me another product that has definitely has not been released yet. Like they've not shown it on their social media yet. Or at least whenever I checked that day, it wasn't anywhere. This wasn't on there either. So either this is already out or it's getting ready to come out. But yeah, they sent me all five shades. I like this corally orange one. That one's calling my name. But the other thing that they have, it's a matte point powder. 
like the like we we're looking at those little single use touch up powder things this is just a pressed powder compact and it's just basically for touching up your makeup getting rid of oil and the packaging on this stuff is always so cute i love the detail they put into it and i don't know if i've even opened this wait i think i did like they even carried the same detail onto the actual product it would have been real sad if it was this cute on the box and then they just went plain and basic on this yeah so it's just a little touch up powder but yeah i'll have a actual review and unboxing swatches of all the shades i can't wait it made my heart so happy to get that package i was i was thrilled Thank you, DZ. Uh, so is the Amethyst palette going to be in base for sure? I'd rather the red palette. Yeah, everything that I've seen so far, the Amethyst palette will be in the base box. You're talking about the Huda Beauty one, right? Oh. Um, what else was I going to show? can't remember now <laughs> someone gave me a long comb highlighter that looks like a rose i've never used it though yeah that one it's just the powder dusted on it i was really really sad like there's one from smashbox they made it has like the imprint of the rose at least that one was a little bit more i don't know like it was cute i totally understand the concept it was really really adorable but i would rather i don't know i like the fact that the blushes like the product is the actual rose i think that's super cute I had the dusty rose. It wasn't great. Yeah, that was another thing. Like, people even said the highlighter itself wasn't that. Like, I like a blinding highlight. I like sometimes for it to be subtle, but I don't know. I think I was just expecting a lot more with that highlighter than what it turned out to be. I got the Selena one since it has the rose. <laughs> See? It's so weird. Like, okay, I think rose is such a strong scent. Like, I don't really wear a rose, but anything that looks like a rose is super appealing to me. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, goodness. My voice is trying to go out. I'm trying to, I think it's because I keep projecting my voice. It's, it's just trying to go out really fast. I love a blinding highlight and it was so powdery and not good for the price. Yeah, people kind of went in pretty hard on that highlighter. It seems like the base box looks better. Um, where are my notes? Like, I just filmed before sitting down to do this live. And I've already forgotten what I said in that video. And I don't know where it is. Like, my stuff. I totally forgot. <laughs> I do remember... Who got the premium box that had the... The, the eyeshadow palette with Isabel Bedoya. I think that was her name. Raise your hand. Like, show on the screen if you got that palette. And I got it. I never filmed it. Like, actually in use, but I used it so many times. And that was such a bad palette. It drove me crazy. Like, I don't know. You guys can't. No, you can't see. I've got a bunch of stuff over here. I don't even know where it is. I was going to show it to you, the Isabel Bedoya palette, and it's it's so bad. It's so chalky. Like, I tried to create several looks with the pastel shades. The only look that you can do is, like, with the neutrals. For some reason, those behave so much better, but the... The pastels in there, anytime you try to blend one of them into a different shade, it just goes away. I don't even know where it is. I got two of them. I don't know where they are. I may have already put those in a bad bin. <laughs> I cannot think 
of where it is. I wanted to show you guys, but even Devin, like he saw me, I was trying, I even tried to sit down and film with it, but I had like, whenever I was doing it and I would try to do something else and it would mess up and I'd take it off and start over. And I ended up like my eyes got so irritated where I was taking it off and trying to redo it. I tried to make it work and I just couldn't. I'll try to find a picture of it so I can show you guys for because I can say Isabel Bedoya, but you may not remember it. Like when you see it, it'll be like, oh, that palette. Um, I know I took a picture. Like I even took pictures of myself using the palette for reference and I could not come up with any decent looks oh oh here you go i looked at the website and they were showing the swatches of the black shade in there but every time i was using that shade it would just one it would brush away any color you put over like that you it wouldn't blend but it was so light and patchy and i'm like well how are they doing this you know what is this witchcraft that they're doing so I put concealer down and put this over it multiple times whenever it was wet. And that was the only time you could actually get any color payoff from the shadow. So bad. I cannot believe how bad that palette was. Okay, here it is. Yeah. The Isabel Bedoya and Illuminati. They better not give me another Illuminati eyeshadow palette. That was ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it was so bad. Like, I've never had an eyeshadow palette behave that bad. That was the worst hands-down palette I've ever seen. But now that Natasha Denona won, that one was good. I like the quad I got in my boxy. Oh, or my ipsy. The only time I have regretted not having Ipsy was whenever they had the Bailey Sarian palette. I really wanted that palette. Just because I love her. Yeah, I just... That was the only thing. And I was hoping... Like, people have had it for sale in the Facebook groups. But I've never purchased in a Facebook group before. I just... I've never had a chance to. Like, I don't know. It's like... I trust it, but still I'm afraid to take that step. <laughs> it's so pretty. Now, the Huda Beauty ones, those are really nice. Like, I've got the Amethyst one. I can go ahead and show you. Um, wherever it got to. Yeah, the Amethyst. These actually do pretty good. Now, some of their shimmers, they're not, they're almost like toppers. Like, I think this middle one is. Y'all are seeing my mess, I'm sorry. But yeah, you see how, like, there's not much of a base to it. That one's more to layer over top of stuff, or it's good, like, in the inner corner. But as far as the other shades, like, they're pretty. They're so pretty. I, I really, really like these. I've only got one palette from her that I, that I hated. Yeah. I, I kind of look like I'm wearing that right now, except for the gold. Be wary of some of those groups. I bought $50 worth of stuff, and when I got my stuff, it was all fake. See, that's another thing, too, I'm afraid of. I watched that documentary online that um, Marlena Stell was a part of for uh, from Makeup Geek. I watched that documentary, and, and so it's got me really, really afraid to buy some things when I can't verify. You know, I've seen several people who got burnt that way. And, I, you know, in that documentary, they showed one woman. She put on a lipstick. It was a Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipstick, and it glued her lips shut. Oh, it, I'm scared. Like, I want to. I think if I can find a seller on there that has, like, I guess you can do reviews or you can go through and look at feedback, I'm assuming, or maybe not. 
but I want to go through and try to find people that sell really, really good stuff. Leticia, thank you. If uh, that palette is so pretty. Um, have you tried the Natasha Denona Pillow Talk mascara? I haven't tried. I haven't tried a whole lot from Natasha Denona. I've not been able to. I don't know. I haven't bought anything this year hardly at all. But Natasha Denona, she's on my radar now. It's if I can find stuff at a really really good deal, I will. But I haven't done it yet. Kind of like Charlotte Tilbury. I only have one item from Charlotte Tilbury. And I haven't even used it yet. I got it just because Raw Beauty Christie told me to. The contour wand. I'm going to use that sometime soon. Like I'm kind of. I'm not afraid to do contouring now with cream products. Don't get the triochrome. Whoa, 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 DZ. Are you talking about the new eyeshadow palette? That's the one I've been eyeballing. Where it has the three duochromes or whatever down the center. I have had my eyes on that. And I have been considering possibly getting that whenever it's on sale again. <laughs> I've heard the duochromes are good. Or they're okay, but the mats. Yeah, Natasha Denona mats are awesome. Sorry, Devin's over there looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm like, what? What are you talking about? Makeup? And he's, he just don't understand. He gets like this whenever he talks about computers. Okay, so he knows the feeling. Use the coupon code you got. Oh, 25% off. I did see if that coupon code was actually better than what you can get on most of their sales. I'm broke right now. I can't buy anything at the moment. So that coupon code will probably be out of date by the time I can actually afford something. Where I got so sick in October and then I still wasn't up to going back full force in November. My paychecks from Google are pretty low for a while. <laughs> I'm hoping December is better. Hey, Michelle. I've never tried um, the Thrive Mascara. But I remember whenever I first started doing YouTube, I worked for Lowe's companies. I worked on their social media team there. And then I was doing this part-time on the side. And I remember kind of having those two incomes coming in at once. I bought a ton of makeup. And then I quit last year, Lowe's, and just started doing YouTube full-time. And so I went back to, I was doing good for a while, but then, like I said, where I got so sick, <laughs> it would have been nice having something else coming in. But, you know, I, I just, I had to take care of myself. I couldn't, I couldn't do both. Because of all this COVID, I haven't had my hair done in about a year. I'm getting highlights tomorrow. Oh, yay. I'm excited for you too. We are in the same boat. I haven't had my hair done since probably February. <laughs> and that's why I like all of this. Like, I mean, okay, this is totally not makeup related. But can you guys tell me if this is a good amount of hair growth for the time that I've not had my hair done? Or because I'm, I'm trying to gauge how fast my hair grows, I guess. This is what my mind thinks about when I'm just wonder, you know, my mind wanders. And I see the root, like, growing, getting longer and longer. And I'm like, should I get on, like, a hair growth vitamin? Michelle says she's going on a makeup strike. I did this year. I did. I, I made one last big purchase at Sephora right before COVID started. I've not bought anything since. Except for a couple of things randomly from Marshall's. Like, I've even gone in there and I'll look around and then, even then, I'll find stuff that's good and I'll just, like, I put it in my cart, I'll walk around for a little while and I'll think about it and I'm like, girl, don't do it. <laughs> I'll put it back on the shelf. I actively talk myself out of buying things every time I go. Your hair looks like a ombre or shadow root. Yeah, this is the COVID ombre. <laughs> Hair usually grows about four inches a year. That looks perfect. Okay, good. 
I was just curious. Um, random thoughts. I'm really trying to convince myself that I don't need anything for the new year coming up. Yeah. I, I know there's some things I'm going to have to get. Like, Actually, <sighs> mascara is something that I know I'll eventually have to purchase. Like, Luckily, I've got some backups, but eventually I'm going to use them all up. BoxyCharm was sending them pretty hardcore there for a while, but they've backed off a little bit until the that one I just got, the Kush mascara. Um, that I'll have to get. I don't know polish. Don't go through that. I'm just trying to think. Like eyeshadow palettes, they last you a really long time. Foundation. Okay. Before COVID hit, I bought a lot of foundation. So um, that's one thing I don't have to buy much of. I don't go through bronzer that fast. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I would need to purchase a lot of. Heck, even a tube of lipstick. I cannot tell you the last time I finished a tube of lipstick. It just doesn't happen. I wish I was like some of these. Like you see people and they have like a signature color, a signature lipstick. And they always wear it and they go through it by multiple times. I've never been someone like that. I'm always trying to dip into this and that and the other. Like, this one from Thrive Cosmetics, I use it a lot. But even it, I've not... Like, I've made a dent in it. But I, I don't know when I'll see the end of it. Have you tried Juvia's Place Foundation? I have not. I've heard really good things about it. And I've heard it's fairly affordable, too. Eyeshadow base. Okay, I would, except I use concealer a lot. I don't go through base as much. But yeah, that's actually a really good one because you would need to use it every time you use your eyeshadow regardless of what eyeshadow look you're doing or eyeshadow palette. Hmm. Okay, now I've got backups. <laughs> I've got backups. I'm good for a while. But yeah, like the last time, the last order that I placed at Sephora, I got that Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I got the Kaja stamp blush. This thing is cute as a button. Like, it's adorable. But I've, I haven't used it yet. <laughs> but it's got the, the little heart here. You're supposed to press into it and then press it on your face. I bought things, planning on using them on camera for the first time. And then I never filmed it. So that was another reason why I kind of put myself in a no buy. And I was like, until you use up some stuff, don't buy anything else. This was in that last order from Sephora. Now this I really do like. The Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush. He's not going to be carried in Sephora anymore. And I'm sad about it. I've emptied two bases in four months. And five concealers. I'm starting to put a dent in my concealers. I didn't realize how much concealer I used. But yeah. That's such a pretty palette. He did so good with this palette. Like Even the packaging is beautiful. The Beauty Blender foundation was on sale for half off. That's a good foundation. I've got that. But yeah, like blush kits. I mean, highlighters, highlighter palettes. I don't go through that stuff that fast. I want the Akaja bronzer set. I haven't even seen that. I need to check it out. Why no more Lunar Beauty and Sephora? Um... I don't know. It's something like Sephora, they take a percentage of the sales and maybe he thought that he wasn't making enough sales to justify the percentage that Sephora took, but it was his decision, I think, to pull it out of the store. Um, Farsali is not going to be carried in Sephora anymore. Like the, all those serums, the primers that they have, they're not going to be in there. Farsali, they took a hit this year during COVID. They went way down. I have several of these. I like them. There's a lot of brands that had been carried in there that they're getting pulled from Sephora. Everything's just changed. I'm going to put that money to paying off my Ulta Charge card. 
right? Yeah, for Solly. Um, now, for Solly, he kind of made it sound like it wasn't his decision. Like, maybe the, the stuff just wasn't selling. Personally, he charges $54 for a serum. It's kind of ex stupid expensive. I've bought some, but I bought them from BoxyCharm. I didn't buy them from, uh, from Sephora. Yeah, this is my Farsali primer collection. And I think the only one that I bought was the unicorn one. Yeah, I paid full price for this at Sephora. And I really wished I hadn't have. Even though it smells amazing, it's not worth it. And I got all three of these in subscription boxes. These two from BoxyCharm and this one from Trend Mood Box. Okay, Perky Perkins, you hit the nail on the head. That's exactly why they're in subscription boxes now. Because they're not selling in Sephora. Yeah, the unicorn one, if you smell of it and you're like, oh my gosh, I have to have that scent all over my face, then yeah. It's not worth it though. It doesn't it doesn't do enough to justify the price, in my opinion. I have to refill my cup. <laughs> I got some Hawaiian punch. Somebody was asking me what was in my red cup earlier. My red drink. <laughs> uh, which one do you like the best? Um... The skin tune blur, like I've I've got it on now, it's okay. The liquid glass, I guess it just depends on what finish you're going for. If you're wanting a hydrating base, the glass skin one is really good. If you're wanting something a little bit poor feeling, the blurring one is okay. But I don't notice it that big of a difference with it. The powder one, the liquid powder, that stuff's amazing. I'll wear that without makeup. Like, if you have oiliness on your face, like I did this summer, it was really bad. It did so good. When I wasn't wearing any makeup, you just take the tiniest amount you can imagine. And I would hit, like, this area here, like my T-zone. Perfect. You couldn't tell that I had any shininess or shininess for the rest of the day. But if you're going to wear it under makeup, make sure you're moisturized really well before you put it on. Because then it will leave like little weird white spots on your face. I love a wine punch. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. Like I, I went to the store. Um, we're trying to cut out soda. So I'm trying to. I know this isn't any better. But it's kind of like weaning me off soda. And then. Like I have water here. We have a water cooler. And I drink water most of the time. But sometimes I just want a little flavor. I tried to not uh, to not buy so much in pop up. I did really, really good. The last couple of pop ups, I've actually done amazingly well. Of course, I'm broke, but <laughs> at the moment, whenever um, they had, yeah, that one for Solly, I only bought that and like two other items in pop up that time, and I didn't buy any this time. I didn't buy a thing. I like buying eyeshadow brushes, but I don't need to buy any more. Like, I'm good. Mostly need to go through and maybe just upgrade. Like, get rid of some that I know I don't like. And then just get some really good ones to replace them. But that's about it. Oh, um, this thing. That is from Marshalls. It's supposed to be for letters. Like a letter holder. But I just use it for my palettes. I think it was only like $5. I love Marshalls, if you can't tell. I go there in TJ Maxx. Well, before COVID, I went all the time. Now, it's like a special occasion. But, like, even my brush holders. I got this from there. I still have the sticker on it. I never took it off. 
This was $4. I use it for my brushes. Any other dirty. I have a ton of brushes. Like it's, I have a lot. And I have a whole drawer full of some that I haven't had a chance to even use yet. This brush holder. <laughs> that's also holding some random things. This also come from Marshalls. Did I actually take, I actually took the sticker off that one. Okay. That one was only like $3, I think. This one's my favorite. This is actually meant for, I think, kitchen utensils. But I love that it swivels. It's, it's so pretty. I love this. They always have this one there, too, but there's different designs. This one was $10. So it costs a little bit more, but I use it for my face brushes. I love it to pieces. Fridge. Oh, you guys can't see it. Fridge. That's Frigidaire. I got this one from Walmart for $20 during Black Friday last year. Um, oh. Whoa, what's happening? Okay. I bought the Boom Boom cream and an Alex and Annie bracelet. The bracelets were pretty. If I buy anything, I need to get some uh, some jewelry, some nice jewelry. I got this in a FabFitFun box, and I wear it a lot. <laughs> I, don't, I only have, like, cheap jewelry. I need to find some good pieces, stuff that will actually last. A candle subscription box, that's a really good idea. I just found one of those fridges for 10 bucks. That's a really good deal. You did good. Do you like FabFitFun? I, I don't get it anymore. I had to cut back on a bunch of my subscription boxes because of COVID. Marshalls. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, and the only thing up here that's not Marshalls. I think like this brush holder here, this big one that I got from Hobby Lobby. But yeah, Marshall's is my favorite place. Uh, COVID did everyone dirty. It really did. I had to cut back every single one of my subscriptions except for BoxyCharm. And I even had two BoxyCharm accounts so that I could get, you know, whenever they have a Lux month, I didn't want to miss out on the base box. So I had that second account. That I kept just for base. <laughs> I had to cancel so many things. And um, it's just. COVID man. It ruined everything. I'm so ready. Jennifer says it too. Bring on 2021. I'm so ready for it. We had to cut back on so much. Yeah. And we were like. Okay guys. I never show this in videos. But like. Do you see this line right here? This line that goes across here? That's fabric on the wall that I just pinned up. There's not even a wall here. This is our future house. We were doing like a tiny house thing. And um, COVID hit. Like even the YouTubers, what they get paid on their videos, the money went down. And we had to, we had money saved up to work in the house, but because of COVID hitting, we had to use it for other stuff. My car broke down. I had to end up having to buy a new car or, you know, pay monthly on it. It's not like I paid cash for it, but, um, things are crazy. Like I've, we've not been able to finish this house. Like there's insulation up obviously, but there's, there's no floor. There's no walls. And we have a bunch of stuff in here. Like we've basically turned this into our clubhouse because we weren't able to, um, to buy anything. Everything's just on hold. Thankfully we have electricity in here, but, um, we're here all the time. My, if you've ever seen Victoria on my channel, I actually, she's my roommate. We rent land next to her house. So she's my neighbor and my best friend. So we stay with her 
And then we kind of go over to my house to hang out. It's, this is a makeup clubhouse at this point. Like, I've not told anybody this. Like, I've been, like, embarrassed about it. I just, crap happened this year. And I just, I don't know. Things got on hold. Us staying with her was only supposed to be temporary till we got this done. But, yeah, you do what you can. Thank you, Jessica. I, ah. Uh, like, I want to cry talking about it. Like, I, it's just, it's crazy. I had, we had such big plans and then everything happened. It's crazy. But thankfully, I've got good friends. I've got a great family. But we're making do with it. So for now, this is just, this is actually the kitchen where I'm setting at right now. Our future kitchen. So for now, it's just my YouTube studio. Devin's got his computer. We've got... A recliner. We got a couple of recliners out here in our TV and we just hang out. <laughs> yeah, I, I I wouldn't know what to do without my friends and family. They've been so supportive and everyone's been kind of helping each other when they can. But yeah. That's another reason why I haven't really bought anything. Like we've just got stuff to do. If I knew all this was going to happen, I would have probably stayed to the other job because that other job I could do from home. But, yeah. Ah, it's just, you know. I'm not told anybody this. This is what lives are for. And I don't normally, like, people... I've actually, like, it's gotten so bad that sometimes I'm afraid to show, like, eyeshadow palettes. If you guys ever see me edit them, like, a, like, the mirror can reflect some stuff back there. Like, you can see here, that's insulation. Like, I'll edit that out in my videos. I guess I'm at the point now where I'm like, it's the end of 2020. We've all been through it. I might as well just talk about it. Yeah, but I, I'm just, Devin, he's got his own business too. He had a shop in town where he was doing his computer repairs. And because the landlords, because of everything that was going on, people, you know, no one was going out anywhere. And the landlords, they actually wanted to jack up the rent. Like they went the opposite direction. They went crazy. And um, so he was like, you know what? Times have changed. He's going to change his business too. He ended up closing up shop. And bought a box truck. And he has made an actual mobile unit for him to do his repairs. He can set up in different business parking lots and meet customers. He can, like, it's crazy. It's actually for him turned out to be a better thing. Because now he doesn't have that rent, that overhead. The stuff, like, he had to put money in to actually convert that truck into be, like, a mobile office for him. Like, he has a generator he had to buy. He has electricity in it. He had to put heat, air conditioning. Like, it's crazy the stuff he had to do with this truck. <laughs> and um, it's turned out to be a blessing for him. He's doing so much better. But he, because he had to put that initial investment into that as well, like, 2021 is going to be great. I, I really, for him, it's going to be good. I have faith 2021 is going to be good. Yeah, 2019, 2019 was my year <laughs> when it came to spending. I was able to buy makeup whenever I wanted it. So I guess that's why, between that and I had so many subscription boxes, I guess that's why I haven't really missed anything this year. Like, because those different boxes, they would give you multiples of skincare. Like, you got so many moisturizers. And um, I don't need any moisturizers now. <laughs> I've started getting sent some things from brands, but it's mostly subscription boxes. But still, those subscription boxes have moisturizers in it. So I don't have, I don't need to buy anything. So thankfully, thankfully, that part's taken care of. And I've been able to give my mom a bunch of skincare. She, she's not, she's not a fixed income. And she, she hasn't been able to buy skincare in a long time. But thankfully, I'm in a position where I give her a bunch of stuff. 
like her skincare she's good she knows anytime she comes over here to hang out she comes back with a box of skincare <sighs> yeah and it's kind of forced me to go through and actually use up some things like i'm actually using up a bunch of my skincare now can you do a holiday look define holiday look are you talking about a specific color or do you mean, I, I don't know. Like, I think of New Year's as a bunch of glitter and sparkle. You should set up a Macari store. I've thought about doing that, but I don't know. I don't know. Because I get PR from BoxyCharm, I'm afraid. Like, I don't want people to get confused. The stuff that I'm selling isn't stuff that was given to me. It was stuff that I actually purchased. I don't know. I've just felt weird about it because I've seen some influencers, they'll sell their whole PR kits and not use any of the product. Red lip, nice eyeshadow look. Hmm. I'm going to think about it. Maybe not like purple and gold, <laughs> but a red lip. I don't know. I'm going to try selling some stuff maybe on Facebook here locally. What are you drinking? Um, Hawaiian Punch. So many influencers were selling their stuff. It makes it hard even if it's ours. Yeah, like, I mean, even if you know this is something that you actually purchased and then maybe you don't ever use it. Like, um, I mean, because you get PR, I'm afraid somebody's going <laughs> to, she's drinking vodka in the punch. You guys. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I don't know. There's one girl. I think her name's Haley Docks or something. She gets PR from Boxy Charm. I don't think she ever uses it. Like, I've looked through her store. Her entire store is just Boxy Charm stuff. Uh, luckily, we're getting the Sunday Raleigh good jeans and looks. Yes. So excited for it. I've only got samples of that product. Whenever I was doing Allure Beauty and doing referrals, they would just give you samples instead of giving you any points or anything. And they sent me so many of those. And I, I have used up so, like, I'm almost done. I think this is probably my last one. So I'm so glad to get the full size up. I thought it was alcohol. <laughs> No, actually, I don't drink. I, um, yeah, I don't, I don't drink, don't smoke. I'm very, very plain. Like, um, I don't know. I've always heard that um, people who, like, people who drink, it brings out, like, an opposite side of them. And so people are like, normally I'm quiet whenever I go places, you know, hang out with people. Unless I'm really, really, really familiar with you, I'm super quiet. And there, I've heard people say, like, man, I bet you get crazy when you get drunk. <laughs> Isn't there a song about a red cup? <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay. Um, Jessica, she's like, I've only got samples too. Like, I'm not getting rid of these samples. Like, um, that's a sample. This is a Sephora micellar water sample. And Sunday Riley. Oh, see. They were sending me these too. This one's the Luna Night Oil. Um, Juno. And UFO. These are samples. Like, I'm not getting rid of that. I'm going to use it. I can't afford to buy the full size, so I'm going to use all the samples I can. I know influencers are getting in trouble for selling their PR. Yeah, see? And, like, um, I saw a comment in here, something about Octoly. Octoly had people going through groups trying to find which people were selling their products. See? Because they get sent things from Octoly, they stand there specifically. You're not supposed to sell anything or use them in unauthorized giveaways. And because Octoly sends me things, part of the thing is you have to review it. It's not a gift. It's 
a product in exchange for a review. In order to review it, you have to use it. So that's why I have a box that I start putting things that I've used that just don't work for me. Not that it's bad. It's just not everything's going to work for everyone. So I just pass it along to my friends or my family. Octoly is an app that you can sign up for if you're an influencer and the brands will select people to send them out free stuff. Free makeup, skincare, perfumes, even clothing in some cases, but my butt's so big I can't fit none of the clothes that they want to give out. So I never apply for those. Everything in there, like the biggest size that they have is like a medium. I'm like a 2X, okay? I, I, I can't do that. They need to diversify their portfolio. The Sunday Riley Vitamin C Moisturizer. Yeah, that's a really, really good. I bought extras from Ipsy last year. Whenever they had them in the add-ons. And I've been holding on to those. It's winter. Now it's time to start breaking that out. Because it's such a good winter moisturizer. I haven't seen a medium since middle school. Right? I used to be a size 8 and I thought I was fat. Oh, thank you, Amy. I actually did film this look. I did a, a get ready, bleh, get ready with me style video. Whenever I was going over the boxer charm spoilers, that'll be out tomorrow, and I show like I do the whole whole look. I like this lip color. That lipstick that we got from Premium Box was good. That's a real pretty nude. She's sexy. All right. Well, I think hmm, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I, this is what happens during live. I have a red tongue. This is what happens during live. I get you guys on here and I just want to keep showing you stuff. Um, I've already talked to you about these. Yeah, I've already talked to you about that. Try to think. I've got my notes here somewhere from the video I filmed. Try to think if there's something. Like for this month. Avante Skincare is going to be in the box this month in Lux. Avante is one of those brands I think are crazy expensive and I can't understand why. We need more lives from you. I've enjoyed this. DZ, I'll check my email here in just a second. As soon as I get off here. I didn't receive the lipstick, but I must say I love the color on you. Thank you. Did you mention the half-caked lip trios this month? No, I don't think I've mentioned that. I don't know if I've seen that. Half-caked lip trios. Is that coming in the December box? Ooh, yeah, I love live videos. This is just a good time hanging out, chit-chatting. Um... I don't know, just girls being girls talking about it. The fondant lippies. Did you get them in November's box? No, I didn't. I don't think. I don't remember what came in my PR box. My mind gets so scattered, I can't think. But the fondant lippies, I, I don't know. I didn't. This is what I got in my base box. I got mostly skincare. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five items. And I think most everybody got the Natasha Denona palette. Yeah, I didn't get them. Uh, I'm sorry. I haven't heard anybody talk about them, though. Um, if you could keep just one box of charm box, which one would it be, base or premium? Normally, I would say base, but after seeing in that meeting today with Joe, what's coming up in January, you want it, you want premium for January. I might have to look that up though. 
Um, yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that they haven't gotten their pop-up orders yet. They, the, the way I understand it, Boxer Charm, they have one warehouse set up that manages just the, the add-ons and the pop-up orders. Another warehouse ships out the boxes. And for some reason, that warehouse that handles the pop-up orders, they haven't got their cards straight. Like, they don't have their stuff set up yet properly, and so they're behind on some stuff. But I think they're getting ready to change shipping people, like shipping partners. I'm thinking there's going to be a lot of changes now since uh, Ipsy's going to be involved with it. They're going to be handing off what Ipsy's good at to Boxy Charm and what Boxy Charm's good at to Ipsy. Yeah, Georgia and New, New Jersey. I don't know which one's which, though. Yeah, and, like, have you seen the post where people, they order, like, two or three things, and then they'll get sent, like, seven duplicates of that one thing? It's even happened to me before. I didn't get seven, but I've ordered Luxie Rushes, and they sent me three. I didn't mind it. <laughs> I, I emailed them. I was like, hey, do you know that you did this? Do you want me to return it back? Because I totally will. But they, they were like, no, nah, I'll just keep it. And so I ended up giving them away. I think I have a box coming that they haven't sent out any tracking information yet. Yeah, a month is way too long. It's it's They get so many orders. For some reason, the ones that first get put in, they're the ones where they have the most mistakes. And then as they work them out, I guess it kind of puts everything back and they end up getting backlogged. The pink ones, yep. They're the ones I got the duplicates of. Yeah, no, whenever I got those duplicates, I even, like, I was like, oh, I'm going to go check my account. <laughs> they better not charge me double for that. No, they didn't. <laughs> FabFitFun has changed how they ship, but I think it's worse than FedEx. I haven't had FabFitFun in so long. I thought they liked me there for a minute. They gave me a PR box. Like, uh, fall last year, they sent me that in PR, and then because the way they do it, if they're going to send someone a box, they have to track how many people I'm actually referring. And I'm guessing the number of people that I referred was too low for them. And so they didn't send me anymore. Like, that's okay. Like, if somebody is wanting, I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm not a sales salesman type of personality. I'm not going to say, oh my God, get this. You have to get this. Your life isn't going well if you don't have this in your life. I'm not that type of person. It's more of, here it is, here's what I think of it, it's up to you. That kind of, that's how I am. <laughs> One second. <laughs> I was trying not to sneeze on camera. Yeah. Woo. Uh, I'm sorry. I did not want to sneeze on camera. Whoo. My allergies. Thank you. And now I bet a bunch of my lipstick is gone and my foundation. I hate whenever you have allergies and you're trying to wear makeup. It's either my eyes are watering and my eyeshadow goes away in no time. Or you blow your nose and your foundation's gone. <laughs> Pat McGrath sent me an extra 125 pounds. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, Jessica, she says, I have a video from my cameras where a FedEx guy threw my box of charm box on the porch from his truck. Have you posted that video on Facebook? I'm thinking I've already seen it. Like, I think I've seen your video, or if not, something similar to it. Ooh. 
Lala. Mia. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know if you guys can see her. Look. Look up here. Look up here. Mia. Oh, God, she got me. That's a big kiss. Lala, do you want to come here? Do you want to say hi to my friends? Oh. Mia. Mia. Yep. They're with us all the time. She she is an Australian shepherd mix that somebody just left out at my parents' house. They live in an area where people keep dropping off dogs and cats. And they drop her off whenever it was a snowstorm. And she was so cute and fluffy, I'm like, you're mine now. Where, oh, where did you get your white cabinets? These are both from Ikea. This one is a... Uh, I think they list it like as a filing cabinet or something, but it's the wider one. I want to see if I can show you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And here's something you guys never see on camera either. Like, there's my skincare. And, yeah, my mess everywhere. <laughs> Everything is a mess right now. And um, this one... This is actually a shelf unit, but the way it's made, I just mounted it like a desk. This is really good. If you guys need, if you have a small amount of space and you're looking for a desk or something or even a vanity, this is excellent. You just mount it to the wall and like have your mirror up above it and be perfect. Yeah, in my desk, I have two Alex five. I can't count. Five drawers. I have two Alex five drawers. And the Alex, no, it's not Alex, just the, the table. Yeah, all of my Ikea cabinets, Devin bought those for me as a present whenever I was first starting my YouTube channel. That was his, here you go, go take over the world of YouTube. That was his gift. Yeah, um... How much are the Alex drawers? They're, they're kind of expensive. And I'm wanting to go away from them. I want to actually. I don't know. I used to want to have. Can't get my thoughts straight. I used to want to display everything. Like the way it is now. But I think I'm kind of wanting to redo it. For a cleaner look. And instead get like a cabinet with shelves. And just put everything up that way. I don't know. Like something more. I guess less furniture is what I'm trying to get. Where'd you get your fridge? I got it from Walmart. Yeah, anything you buy from Ikea, in case you have never bought anything from them before, nothing is assembled. You have to put it together yourself. And if you want to test your relationship with your significant other, buy a dresser from Ikea and try to put it together. We, oh gosh, that'll test you for sure. The pack system. Yeah, I think that's the big thing now with YouTubers like beauty influencers. Everyone's getting the pack system with the clear drawer fronts. So that you can see all the makeup. I don't know. I don't know. I just. I got to try something. I want to do something different. I want all my makeup. I need to do a, a huge declutter. And get rid of a bunch of stuff. Because like my drawers. My drawers are getting kind of full. Especially my eyeshadow palettes. Like, I'll do a video one day on just that. You guys can see every palette that I have. I wouldn't want clear ones because I'm messy. Uh, depends. I like, to, if it's mess, if the mess is makeup, maybe it's not that bad. But yeah, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm kind of wanting to go for a cleaner look. And I want to do something to these, to the cabinets, like the drawer faces. I'm going to do something to those too. <laughs> okay. Well, I totally get it, Michelle. I will see you in the next live because there will be more lives on here. Actually, it's been... It's been a couple of hours. I think I'm going to have to jump off here too. It's getting late. 
I gotta get this makeup off very carefully because of the glitter. Yeah. Um, anybody got any last minute questions or anything you want to talk about? Oh, I'm sorry, Kristen. She said she just found out we were alive. Or Crystal, Krista, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. Bomb and chick. Yeah, I'll be on here again. I'm, I'm going to try to go on here live as, as much as possible. I'm not going to have any set days for it. It's just going to be whenever I get a free chance before. Because I'm helping out Devin with some of his stuff. So that kind of balance. It's a balancing act. Try to get everything done. Yeah, this was fun. I will be here earlier in the day for sure. Because this is really, really late to start a live. Um, let's see. Great Christmas gift for makeup or for people starting out in makeup. Hmm. Gift recommendations. If you just want to go simple and like let them pick out what they want. I mean, gift cards are always fun to do, but what I would start out with someone who's just beginning in makeup, keep it simple. Start with an eyeshadow palette. That's what I would do. Or a face palette. Something that they can use like multi-purpose. Beauty Beauty Retrograde. Oh gosh, that one's so pretty. My friend got that and I, I always, always look at it. But you know what's so funny about that? She bought the palette, but I see her swatching it more often than actually wearing it. She loves swatching it. I don't, I don't know. So pretty. Yeah, Denise, we needed a girl's knot. We needed this. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to jump off here. I will try my best to let people know in advance when I'm going to do a live and try to get to a set schedule. But for the next little bit, it's just going to be whenever I can squeeze them in. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Okay. I love you all. Have a great night and be careful going home if you're traveling. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll have a new video, a tutorial, box of charm spoiler. Get ready with me. All kinds of stuff in that video, but it'll be out tomorrow. Everybody have a good night.